What is up guys? Welcome back to the Motorhead YouTube channel. In the last episode, we did get our rack and pinion mounted, but we actually want to lift this motor up a little bit because it's pretty close and I don't want the torque to be pushing this motor and banging up this pan. So what we're going to do is actually plate this subframe, which will bring these mounts up because I remember when we were working on it, the, the original plate where the mount sits, it was actually rusted and it weakened the metal. So adding a plate is actually going to give us strength and it's gonna pick it up to where we need it. So let's get started. cardboard cutouts here and this is actually what I was talking about as you can see after we cleaned it off and got all rid of all the pitting this metal is very thin so this plate is going to be perfect so let's go ahead and start cutting it out So we've got our pieces cut out here. As you can see, they fit beautifully. What I'm going to do next is clean up this subframe and go ahead and weld them on. So we've got this one side welded in. It's looking pretty good. Went all the way around it with some nice thick welds. And now we're gonna go ahead and do this side, get it to look the same. bottom drill the two holes and test fit again I don't think we have to do any kind of more well we might throw something this way on that just to doll it up a little bit I don't think it needs any more structure <laughs> Boys. 
Can't even use that footage now. Okay, so we got these plates welded in. Now our height is gonna be perfect. You already did a good job welding it all. And now we actually want to go ahead and weld in these nuts right here. And we did listen to y'all's comments. A lot of y'all said to do it on the top. That way the bolt doesn't have to go through the motor and have to pull the motor. So it's gonna be a lot easier this way. So let's go ahead and do it. So we are getting straight down to it. So I have these two bolts right here. They're going to work as our bolts that hold the whole system together. And these are the nuts I want to use. I actually had a pretty hard time finding some nuts, but these are low profile, so they're gonna actually work really great. So I'm going to clean them up, get them ready to be welded into place. And I also wanted to show you guys the motor mounts up close. As you can see, they actually sit on here really well. There's two holes, one for a dowel and then one for the bolt. And this side is really nice. This is flat. And then this side is going to need a little bit of, you know, clean up, but that's obvious. And that's part of the refinish work as it is either way. So I'm going to clean up these nuts and get them ready to be welded in. Just like that, these bolts will come in straight from the bottom. All right, guys, I know this is a bit of an overkill, but I got the bolt, you know, tightened down right here. I'm going to clean the bolts up. It's just, I don't want to fling it across the shop. <laughs> Okay, so I cleaned up these bolts a little bit and I got them ready to be welded. I'm going to air blow them and degrease them and clean this up a little bit and we'll be ready to weld them in. Alrighty then guys, so we are going to leave the rack and pinion in there for now. That way we can get the exact spot, tack up the bolts and we then can take it off and do the finish welding. So I am going to use some Dynacoat degreaser and just clean up all the spots, clean up the bolts. tighten these down just a little bit just to give them a little bit of uh, a rigidity Okay, as you guys can see, we I have the bolts tightened down. I am still debating if we're going to use these bolts. We uh, I did put a washer up under here and it is still kind of tall. They stick out quite a bit. You can cut them, but you can always buy new bolts also. So I'm waiting for my brother. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna clean this up here and uh, clean this up a little bit too. And when he gets back, we will be ready to weld. So check this out, we got it looking great so far. And wow, it's amazing actually. It sits on there 
Just about as flat as it's gonna get. <laughs> Okay, that's sitting perfect. It's really sitting good, and this one's sitting really good too. We'll clean that area up, and it'll be great. So we got the nuts welded on. Now we need to actually shorten these so it doesn't hit the oil pan. So Yuri's about to cut it. Okay, so the subframe is finally completed guys once we get it powder coated it is going to look amazing but that is going to be it for this video guys in the next video i actually want us to get started on this framework as you can see the support is bent up the frame rail is kinked so it is going to have to go on the frame guys stay tuned that is going to be a fun one if you enjoyed be sure to hit that subscribe button comment down below and don't forget to follow me on instagram at motorhead.co peace